hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher back again with another simple tutorial on web development so what we are going to be creating today is the 404 error you always meet on the websites like when you try to put in some fake url they, that site will redirect you to their error page like page not found the page you are trying to access is not available at the moment so any kind of message that will be set by the owner of that website so let me show you the live example here because i may not bring it out the way you know it but if i go there and put slash and some fake text here and i press enter this website or host has the default page it redirects the users to like this page is not found the page you are trying to access is not available so let's wait for it my internet is a bit slow i don't know why oh this is the page you're seeing here we couldn't find that page and some following information they can tell you to do something like going back tutorials and help so something like that and the live example i can show you is on youtube so if i go and remove all this link of my channel and i say youtube forward slash and some fake text and i press enter they also have their default error page they display to the user who accesses a wrong url the uniform resource locator so this is how they display their page you will forgive me for the slow internet or speed internet so this is the page youtube brings you to when you enter in some fake url so this page isn't available sorry about that try searching for something else and they give you the search box or engine so we are going to be trying to create this i'm going to be showing you how it's made it's very very simple only one line of code and the page you design to display to the user so let me go back to the default pages so i'm going to leave this one for youtube because i'm going to take this information from it now i have a folder here called tutorial i'm going to create a new file and save it Control s on your keyboard so mine is going to be called is going to be called page so i'm too fast in talking page underscore not underscore found dot html so this is the name i have given to my page and i'm going to create the basic structure for the web page and i'm going to call it I'm going to give it a title of 400 not found as YouTube does it. So I'm going to be using some online bootstrap CDN. On my website, some demo website, I'm going to press Ctrl U on the keyboard and I get the source code. So I want to take this bootstrap CDN. So you can write your pure HTML and CSS. So I'm going to include it, include it in the head section and I also want my error page to be having this fav icon so this icon you're seeing here I also want it to be there because I'm going to be putting it on the server so that's what we need you may not include this link I've included right now so I'm just showing you an example so I'm going to create a div or oh, lowercase I want it in lowercase div and I'm going to give it a class wow sorry for the pop-ups I'm going to give it a class of container so I'm just designing this you can create your own page but in case if you are well with bootstrap then follow me around so I'm going to call this one jumptron and I'm going to put some image tag here so i'm having some png photo here called sad.png so i'm going to call it sad.png and let me open this in the browser so you can go and click on your file and open it in the browser for us in sublime we just right click and we say open in browser so far this is what we are having it's what i want to display to the user 
So below the image, I'm going to create some H1. And I say 404 page not found. Control S, save it. Refresh. This is what we are having right now. So I'm going to create a paragraph. And this paragraph, I'm getting it from YouTube. Because I'm too lazy. You can't type all that. I'm just going to copy Ctrl C on your keyboard. And I'm going to put here a break tag. After that. So when we go back to our page, this is what we are having. So let's center it. The good thing with the bootstrap, we just need only to add classes like text center. Control S on your keyboard to save. And everything is centered. Now let's put a button that will tell the user to go back. So below the paragraph, I'm going to create some, oh, let me tap this. Let me tab this and also tab this. So this one is going to be some hang tag. A H ref. Then we cross the A and we write go back. So oh sorry for the pop-ups once again. So this is what we are having. So now let's make it a button. We are now just designing, we are not yet say btn btn dash primary so this one is going to give us some blue color yes very good now let's make it large btn dash lg very good now let's give it some icon for the left symbol so we are going to space here and we put some span tag. And we say we are going to give it a class of graphicon. Graphicon dash chevron dash left. As I said, we are just designing this interface. It's still loading. Yeah, this is the icon we want. Now, let's reduce on the size of this image. It's too big. So I'm going to create some custom style sheet here. I'm going to select it by the tag name, IMG. And I say with it, 100 pixels and height. 100 pixels I guess now it's okay now let's push this jump tron from up to be like centered so I'm going to select it by the tag name which is jump tron and I say dot jump tron and I say margin top 100 pixels Basically, now our page is done. So on this button, let's put this link for the website. Remove that forward slash. So we are going to take this link and we paste it here on the href hyper reference. I guess now that's all we need for the page. That's how we have designed it. Now let's create that page. That will redirect the user to that error page in case it happens. So Ctrl S on your keyboard to save this file. And we are going to call this file HT Access. That's the name you have to give each HT Access, which stands for the Hypertext Access. And what this file does, it controls the directory it lives in. So when the user types in some wrong URL, it will automatically take that user to that error page. And yeah, you can call it the configuration file found on the web servers. 
that use Apache. So we are going to write only one line of code and everything will be done. So what you need to do is write error, then document. So write it the way you see it. And we specify the type of error. The type of error we want to like handle it's this page not phone 404 then forward slash and the page you want the user to be redirected to so the page we named it page underscore not underscore phone dot html boom we are done that's the only stuff you need to write so we are going to transfer these files to the server and we see how it does just have to write error document the type of error which is 404 forward slash and the page you want the user to be taken to when he or she puts in the wrong uniform resource rocket or anything the link he or she uses so i'm having my filezilla here i'm going to hold this page this ht access which is hypertext access and this image so I'm going to drag them on my server. So this is just a demo. And let's wait for them to be uploaded. Let's wait them to be uploaded. Oh, now it's done. Even if we close this, and yeah, we leave out that. So let's refresh this page. I have uploaded them on this server. So let us refresh and see if it's going to work. So let's remove this forward slash and we put some fake, fake, fake stuff and we press enter. So this is the page we are going to be redirected to and yeah our HTT HT access has worked we said document dot uh, document error document the type of error and the page one the user to go to so it has worked out and yeah it's a configure the HTT access HT access sorry I'm too fast you forgive me for that the hypertext access is some configuration file on the web server that we always control the directory it lives in so when the user enters in some fake url to redirect the user to this page you can put anything you want on this page your navigation bar if you are into some <laughs> making a lot of money you just need to place ads everywhere so when the user clicks this go back remember we put in the link where the user is supposed to be taken to which is the home page so guys, if this tutorial was useful to you, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, always like the videos after watching, and I will see you in the next tutorials. And some extra information I created is this simple website in jQuery Mobile. So when you want to have some questions and answers about some languages, frameworks, markup languages like html just come and write like html they show you everything that has this letter h so html questions and this is jquery mobile doing this press the jquery ui having these accordions so guys make sure you subscribe to the channel like the videos Share them on different social medias. Always comment. Let me know what I should make next. Peace.